let's get to it. So, what's going on everyone? Jan Hella here, and today, we're in my closet. Yeah, we're in my closet. So, a little bit different, and a little bit too close, but hey, here we are. So, today's video is kind of a little breakdown of um, why I collect, and understanding the why of why I collect. And, um, you know, and spoiler alert, today's Thanksgiving, so if this comes out next week, sorry, I'm doing Thanksgiving stuff, so I didn't invest any time to edit this video to release it on Thanksgiving Day. Go figure. But, um, yeah, you know, today's supposed to be a day of giving thanks for what you have, who's in your life, and where you are in life, and many other, you know, things to be thankful for. And as a collector, definitely thankful for being able to be in the position position of being a collector. So that's kind of where I'm realizing that the why I collect. And it's a good why, you know, it's an appreciation for the things that I have and what it took to get there. And there's also an appreciation for the entire process, you know, when it comes down to it, it's the entire process and like kind of, um, I guess the best way to describe it is you get a hold on to the moment, right? And so, you know, it's one of those things where moments are just like that. They go in a blink of an eye. But when it comes to collecting, you remember what it took to get that one thing. So for me, what it comes down to is toys, sneakers, Pokemon cards, whiskey, miscellaneous things I don't really need, but I have and are kind of neat. And you know, for me, like when you look at those things, you acknowledge, oh, I was here when I bought it. Oh, I was there when I bought it. I was with this person, I was with that person. And you know, it's neat. You know, it's one of those things where it's cool to remember and the thrill of the hunt to, you know, get whatever it is you're looking for is definitely, you know, part of it all. But I'm acknowledging that I don't need it, you know? Um, the memories that I do need and want are the ones with people and family and friends. And, you know, for me, since I'm a barber, clients. And those are overall the more important things. Um, granted, you know, unless you buy something along the way, you don't really get the instance, right? The, th the tangible thing that brings you back to that moment. And that's kind of why I did collect. And I'm acknowledging that I don't need to do it as much as, as much as I have in the past, you know? And so this is kind of setting the premise for the videos that are to come, which are going to be me pretty much unloading my collection of things. Um, I think it's time, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's not easy to let go regardless of, you know, if it's a toy, um, relationships with people, Money, I mean, it's just one of those things, right? Letting go is one of the hardest things. And I think for me, vlogging about it is gonna help with the process. You know, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I think that's just the best way to describe it. So I'm pretty much just setting, setting the foreground for what's to come. I'm gonna be selling a whole bunch of stuff. Pokemon cards, toys, sneakers. That's pretty much it. Quick little video for what's to come. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys will stick around this journey. And until then, pop hard.